Hello folks, welcome back to Fix It With FC. A little bit off the normal subject today. Today, I'm going to show you my specialty on how I make pizza. This is a 16 inch pan. I preheated the oven. Now, pizza is subjective. I like it well done. I cook it at 410 for 16 minutes. Okay, so the first thing I do with my pan is I put olive oil on it, spread it out, and I have the dough. And where do I get my dough? I get the dough packaged like this. This I packaged it this. It comes not in an airtight seal. So I put my dough this way and I stick it in a freezer. Now this dough goes for $2.99 each at this point in time. You can get it on sale for five uh, five for five dollars, a dollar each. Now that's when I pick it up. So the first thing I do is I let this sit out and get ready to be to be made. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is now that it's rised what I'm going to do is take it out and put it on the pan. Now I'm just going to take my time to spread this out. As you can see that the, the olive oil does a great job of making it start with, not stick to the pan when we're taking it out, but it also does a a great job in not making it stick to anything in the pan. Now, after I get it out like this, folks, what I just simply do is I just do this and put a little a little crust on it. Now, the reason why I'm doing this video here is to save money. Yes. A pizza at your local pizza shop. I'm not talking about Pizza Hut or those or Domino's. I'm talking about a pizza, a nice pizza, a 16 to 18 <laughs> inch pizza is uh, going to cost about $17.50 where I come from. Plus if you want any toppings it's $2 extra. So you're talking about a 20 spot every time you get a pizza. Now is this good every time you have it? No, you've got to have that, that pizza from the pizza place once in a while. But to save some money, this probably cost the dough, done right, like I said, cost a dollar. It cost about a dollar and a half for the mozzarella cheese. How much does a little tomato sauce cost? And some of the other ingredients, you're, you're in for about five bucks or a little bit more. Not that bad. So the next step is what I just do is I just use, um, throw a little plug out here, Prego. I know you guys are going to hit me with a lot of the way you do it, but like I said, we all do it differently, don't we? I like a little extra tomato sauce, so... If you think about it, you can get a nice pizza for five bucks, eight slices, they're not big, but you know, for a little snack, it's not bad. I'm just going to give me a stir. There's one more little dab of it, and that's what we're going to end of the, the story with the tomato sauce. Okay. Next, what we're going to do is the way I do it. I'm going to put some Parmesan cheese on it right after I put the tomato sauce. 
Yeah, I put it on heavy. It's really. Okay. Next thing we're going to do is I use about a half a pound of whole mozzarella. Eh, a little bit more, a little bit less. Probably should use maybe a little bit more. Okay, we're back. Now I just use oregano leaves. I like I like that on my pizza. And as you know, pizza is you can put anything you want on pizza. And that's what I like. Now I've cooked up some sausage. Now I don't like it sliced like you get them at the pizza place. So I just make it like this. Little pieces. And when you get one of my pizzas, you do not get short of, of toppings. That's for darn sure. Don't you like when you pay $2, $3 for toppings? And it looks like that the uh, just give you morsels of stuff. Yeah, I love I love sausage. Now I know there's plenty of ways of doing this. And this is just my way. You know what? This is going to taste great. This is. Gonna, I've been looking forward to this. Last week I decided I was going to make this video for you guys. Okay, here we go. Now, I know you could bump up the temperature. I do it at 410 for 8 minutes on the pan, on the bottom rack. Okay, we're almost at eight minutes now. Now, what I do is I take the pizza out of the bottom rack. And for the last eight minutes, boy, does that look good. I put it up on the top rack for the last eight minutes. Now what I also do is, let me set this first, in four minutes what I do is I rotate the pizza. Now I guess I could go to 500 and it would be less. This is basically the way I do it. I know it. It comes out exactly the way we like it. I like, uh, I do not like soggy pizza or anything. I actually, when I order it from a pizza place, I order it extra, extra well done. I like it crispy. Okay, folks, I'll see you in eight minutes, and I'll show you the final product. Okay, folks. You ready to see it? And I'm ready to eat. Here we go. This is the way I like it. Now you tell me that this pizza doesn't look good. And I'll tell you, get some new glasses. 
Alright, here we go. We're going to cut this bad boy right up. Basically, I could have probably put more. The slices aren't definitely as big as we would get at the pizza place, but for a few bucks, how can you go wrong here, folks? Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. Take a look at this pizza. This looks delicious. All right. Please subscribe to my channel, hit the like button, and please hit the bell icon so you can get future notifications of my next videos. Have a good day. Thank you. Well, I have to say I'm eating the last slice. And it was delicious.